Okay, truly one of the biggest icks ever is seeing a man's butt crack. I don't care if we've been dating for two weeks. I don't care if we've been dating for two years. I don't care if we're married. If you get out of the car and I can see even a centimeter of your butt crack, you're getting ghosted immediately. Immediately. All right, this is just ridiculous. I have a very cute butt crack, all right? It is covered in coarse bristle, all right? It is like the floor of a barbershop back there, but it releases a pheromone-driven primal response from females when they see it. Back in college, I used to let the girls braid my upper crack hair, and then I would induce upon them metaphysical climax by massaging their temples while reciting Shakespeare while they stared at their beautiful creation in the mirror. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Malcolm in the Middle. My name is Leon and if you're still here after that intro, I salute you, good friend. Today we're talking about X. Ick. Ick. It's kind of been in rotation for over a year now, but keeps on persisting. And the reason I found out about it, you'll get a kick out of this, this is how you know I'm old. I found out about this TikTok trend from a radio DJ. I should have known better. They're like, oh, there's this new TikTok trend called X where they blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, oh, cool. Maybe I can go home and check this out, see what it's all about. And it's been, I mean, this shit's like over a year old, but it's just, it never dies. And ick is just a Gen Z word for what we used to call turnoffs. Like very particular things that a potential suitor might do to turn your mood from, ooh, I want to copulate with this person, I think I like them, to gross, get away from me, I never want to see you again. Here's one from popular socialite, Brittany Broski. <laughs> Two icks that I have to share and it's making me... So the first ick is when a guy, you're in a car with a guy and you're listening to a song and he thinks the beat drop is coming at a certain point, but he misses it entirely and he does one of these and it's on the wrong beat. <laughs> and then the other one is him trying to take selfies. Okay, the beat drop one's pretty legitimate, all right? There's nothing more embarrassing than coming in on the wrong bar. You know, just the worst. The, the most egregious situation where that happens is if you're ever, like, out at a, at a bar or something, and you're doing, like, a loud sing-along, and there's a DJ, and you know when the DJ, like, cuts the music to let the crowd keep singing? All of a sudden, you're going nuts. You don't know the lyrics. They cut the music, but you're singing some bullshit, and you get caught with your pants down singing the wrong lyrics. Ugh. Now, for me personally, I'm a pretty laid-back guy, very forgiving, so I couldn't really think of any particular... Icks I had right off the bat as I was racking my brain, but I was watching some and I discovered one immediately when I watched this right here. This is my official prediction that Megan Fox and MJK are never gonna get married. They're just gonna break off their engagement because she looks so unhappy. Like I can literally feel the ick that she has from here, three states away. Now to her point, Megan Fox does seem a little bit uncomfortable uh, in this TikTok. It's a little bit strange, but they're a weird fucking couple, so what do you expect? But when she went, I can literally feel the ick from hair. <sighs> Three states away. Like, I can literally feel the ick that she has from here. Like, I can literally feel the ick that she has from hair. <laughs> ick. I swear to God, like, literally, he just, I'm sure she's a lovely young lady. I just, I couldn't handle that personally. So some of these icks get a little bit ridiculous and some are kind of on point to be honest. And if I hear anybody go, oh Leon, you're late. This has been around forever. I don't, I don't give a damn. Okay. You know what else I was late to? Every other trend I've ever done. And I've also was late to your graduation because I was busy massaging your mom's feet and then kissing her on the cheek and wishing her a, a great night. The only thing I'm not late to is sponsor segments. So listen up, bitch, and then we're gonna go balls deep into some more icks. Browsing the web without a secure connection in 2022 is like taking a deuce in public, naked, with the door wide open. In reality, nobody wants to see that, but in internet land, the corporations and the websites are surveilling you constantly and harvesting your data for their own agendas. That's why I continue to use ExpressVPN because it gives me back some privacy by encrypting my data and tunneling it through a secure VPN. It also gives you unrestricted access to the internet by allowing you to change your online location to any of their servers in up to 94 countries. For example, my son loves the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. And to be honest, I kind of do too. But it's not available on Netflix in the US, so I simply connect to do a Canadian server, hit refresh, and my son was a happy boy. It's incredibly fast and intuitive to use, and they have an app for whatever device you connect to the internet on, so it's easy to stay protected and watch what you want. And for less than seven bucks a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee, why not give it a try for yourself? So take some privacy back and find out how you can get three months for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash Leon Lush or clicking the link in my description box below. Thank you ExpressVPN for sponsoring YouTubers we love and thank you guys for listening. I appreciate you. Reasons I've gotten the ick 
in the past. Here's probably some insightful uh, commentary from this TikToker. Wore no-show socks, put gummy bears in... <laughs> this is quick. This wore no-show socks one kind of cut me a little bit deep, and I'm not sure that I was really ready for that. I have a long history of wearing no-show socks, and I think I'm watching this now, and I think I've, over the years, grown a disdain for them because I hate how they look when you don't have shoes on. They're embarrassing. Like having ankle socks or the real scrunchy socks with like the New Balance 401s, the dad shoes, like that's about as embarrassing as it gets. But you have to make a trade off there when you wear the no-shows to try and look kind of like young or hip when you're an old dude like me. You risk going over like a friend's house and maybe it just so happens they have like a no-shoes in the house policy, kind of like my wife. And all of a sudden, I'm a 6'3", 250 pound man wearing little cotton ballerina slippers that just covered my toes and my heel. It's disgusting. Okay, Putting gummy bears on ice cream is a total lick. Okay, I don't care if you're male, female, or one of the 2,367 other genders available today. Uh, it's gross. They get hard, like the, 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 they get hard from the ice cream. The cold ice cream makes the gummy bears hard. The texture along with the ice cream is, it's not palatable, it's terrible. You're a fucking three-year-old if you do it and nobody should date you. I love her, can't leave her. So these were all very specifically uh, about either strippers or, you know, posturing to try and get a, a little three-way with the honey. I feel like this is an interesting topic, right? This idea that when you're in a relationship or you're going to get married and you're going to go for this last night as a bachelor party, you got to go get a bunch of strippers or go do some real, you know, fuckboy shit before you're locked down for the rest of your life. I don't subscribe to that nonsense. I personally think there's a level of trust you can get to with a partner where, like, being around women that are objectifying themselves for money is just a thing. It's not gonna like ruin your relationship, right? It's just, it's just everywhere you look in modern day society, sex is being used to sell things to you at all times. I like having a list with my wife about people, you know, the, the top five list about like, okay, if you saw this person, you get a free pass. You can do whatever you want with them, right? It's a joke list. She has Tom Brady on her list. I have, uh, you know, Scarlett Johansson and Tom Brady on my list. <laughs> no. I don't like strip clubs personally. I think they're a waste of money, but I think going on TikTok and taking this stance like, ooh, you're not really doing yourself any favors, honestly, trying to find a guy that's a reasonable dude that you can trust. It boils down to trusting your partner is what I'm getting at. God, I just have the best ick ever. So you know how guys always wear like those cut tank tops? It's like t-shirts that clearly just had like the sleeves cut off. Hell yeah. So they probably like cut them themselves, right? So just imagine, of imagine a dude sitting crisscross fucking applesauce, huh? just with his scissors in hand, cutting off the sleeves of his shirt, thinking, yeah, this is going to look so good on me. Okay, I feel attacked. In my defense, I have never sat crisscross to cut the sleeves off my shirts because I'm not flexible enough for it. But you're damn right those things look good on me, okay? <laughs> if you... If you can't get over a boy, just imagine him shimmying towards you at a party to a song by Ed Sheeran. Come dance with me. Do you not dance? <laughs> I, oh my gosh, I'm never talking to a boy again. I mean, I'm not going to disagree. You catch any dude shimmying to an Ed Sheeran song, instant zero. If you want to make a girl moist in the nethers and take it from me, I am basically the King Triton of women's waterworks. You put on the self-titled corn album from 1994 and you slide over with purpose. Thank me later, gentlemen. You've just secured yourself a baddie. Oh my God, a grown man calling a girl baddie? Ick. That's right. In this video, we are going to talk about why the ick can be a sign of the fearful avoidant attachment style. Whoa, how the hell did I get here? This isn't supposed to be serious. I don't know what that disease was, but no. Nope. People's biggest turnoffs of the year. So the dating app called Palm year. did a survey asking 3,000 British people what gave them the ick, and here is the top 10. Oh, the 10th place is if you're honestly. on a date and they are wearing a face mask under their nose. In <laughs> how about if you're wearing a face mask on a date? <laughs> <laughs> um, what the fuck is happening? Ninth is singing the wrong lyrics to a song. Number eight is pretty generic. It is getting food stuck in their teeth. All right, listen, everybody, th these, this is stupid. Like, if you're actually on a date and, like, someone has food stuck in their teeth and you're like, ugh, gross. All right, this date's over. You're a pathetic loser, okay? Everyone gets food stuck in their teeth. You kindly say, oh, you got a little right there. You help them out. You give them a helping hand and hope that they would do the same for you. That's how you build trust. 
when you can tell each other when there's food in your teeth early on in the relationship stage. These are fucking bollocks, dude. I'm using bollocks because English people are stupid. Seventh place is dirty or unpainted nails. And actually, fun fact, this is the number one biggest turnoff on the guys list. That is interesting how culturally obsessed guys are with manicured nails from females, right? It is kind of so commonplace now that it is a bit of a shock if you're into a particular kind of woman who does the makeup and the whole thing, uh, the, this kind of societal pressure that they're under to dress and look a certain way, and she just has busted nails. It's number one ick for, for men in the UK. Tell you right now, manicurists are not gonna be going out of business, so recession or not, it's a good business to be in. And it is considered extremely attractive when they comment on Dylan Page's videos, though. The runner-up is ref- Wait, what? What? What are you- Considered extremely attractive when they comment on Dylan Page's videos, though. Oh, that's him, yeah. The runner-up is refusing to learn how to drive. And the number one biggest turn-off of the year is owning an Android phone. And no, surprisingly, this study was not funded by Apple. That can't be real, right? The number one turn- Owning an Android phone is, is the number one ick? That ha That cannot be real. Are we that shallow as a society? People refusing to learn how to drive though. I've known some people in my life that just never, they just never did. Like they couldn't take the plunge to just get their license. It makes no sense. Like I I don't care if you don't need it. It's like, oh, you, you walk to work or you like to take the public transportation or the tea. Like just learn how to drive and get your license. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but it's nice to have it. It's not that hard to get. If you're not even willing to take what, it, to do what it takes to get your license, you're just like, that's a good, that's a nick. That's a good indication that you're just about as unadventurous as you could possibly be. Imagine going on a date with like a 30 year old dude and he doesn't have a license. <laughs> He's either a zero or an alcoholic, probably both. What is your biggest ick? My skinny jeans. Skinny jeans. I can't, I can't. Yeah, do you know the ones with the weird thing on the knee? Like, it's tight, when it's tighter than your jeans, yeah. what is that about? Yeah, boy, it's just like you don't like the, the look of it. It makes their legs look weird. They look like that guy from Despicable Me, you know? <laughs> their upper body's <laughs> like fat and their legs are like little sticks. It's not cute. What's yours? Electric scooters. <laughs> this is 100% accurate. It, you, you cannot, you have to be a very specific type of man to wear skinny jeans. Like, like the super lanky, skinny, emo, there's nothing weirder than like a heavy dude, top heavy, trying to sneak into skinny jeans and then it's all just like <laughs> and he's just kind of like a, a dreidel almost, you know what I mean? But if you're like the lanky emo type with the swept hair and you wear rings and shit, like and you can get away with it. This is shout out to anyone this, that has one. Get rid of it right now because it's embarrassing. I on the okay. Thing. This guy he picks me up, he's coming yeah. on an electric scooter. Like, I'm no picking way. you up and get on the back of the scooter. <laughs> I was like, that's it, I'm out. Wait, he actually walked up like that. <laughs> he walked up in an electric scooter and I copped on I the back. Oh, no. <laughs> Where you gone? <laughs> Apart from you, you obviously had that. Have you had a guy try picking up with an electric scooter? Yeah. I hope he doesn't wait, see what, this. Wait, 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 what? Who, where are these guys? Is this an England thing? How many you got? Gentlemen, I know, I know that if you watch Leon Lush, you're never going to show up to a date picking up a girl on an electric scooter, right? No chance. You wouldn't do that. No, I know you better. Don't get me wrong, like if I'm traveling to California or wherever and like I'm in the city, I'll rent like a bird scooter, one of those ones you can get the app and just hop on and rip around town for a bit. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna own an electric scooter. <laughs> like, well, I'll be right there, guys. Give me about 20 minutes. I'm just gonna uh grab my things and hop on my scooter and uh just scoot on over. See you soon. Ick. Getting out girls is. Oh, these guys are funny, I've seen them before. Not being able to catch. Facts. Running after a ball. <laughs> this is accurate, okay? Men do not run after balls. They wait for the ball to come to a complete stop, then they stand where they're standing, and then they beckon for someone lower on the biological food chain to go retrieve that ball for them. I learned that from a How to Be an Alpha podcast. <laughs> you know those ones you see on TikTok all the time with those dudes sitting around circle jerking each other about how to hate women? Yeah, we've seen those. Those are funny. <laughs> Tripping up the stairs, being five feet eight. Oh no. Not being able to tell the time. I mean, come on. Spilling his drink when drinking. Voting Tory. <laughs> Got a little UK political at the end there. A lot of English people in these videos I'm finding. Maybe the, the ick seems to be uh, more prominent in the United Kingdom, perhaps. I guess maybe in America we still call it a turnoff. Of course, on TikTok, all the Americans like to bite trends from wherever they are in the world, so I'm sure we've adopted it over here. But I'm still calling it a turnoff, okay? Just even if, like, people that call something icky, which is where the term ick come from, that itself 
is an ick or a turnoff. That is ick inception. If you actually use the word ick instead of turnoff, that itself is an ick. And for that matter, do you know what else is an ick? You know what else is a turnoff? Long-winded video outros.